What's the word, y'all? Yesterday, we had one of the most anticipated games of the NBA regular season. With the Warriors, who started off 17-2 and two with the MVP of the league. So far, Steph Curry going against the Phoenix Suns, who started off 1-3, and three, but going into last night was on a 16-game win streak. The two best teams in the league going head-to-head, -head, and it lived up to the hype. You had Steve Kerr and Monty Williams, two coaches that are competing for Coach of the Year, really giving it all. The Warriors are a team that will start off a man and then give you some zone, give you some boxing one to keep their opponents on their heels. They did that. The Suns have a great defensive team steer-headed by the two-headed monster named Mikael Bridges and DeAndre Aiden, and they both came to play. Two great defensive teams, and I loved every single minute of it. Now, I said two-headed monster Mikael Bridges and DeAndre Aiden, but I don't want to discredit like Cam Johnson, Jay Crowder, even Landry Shaman played some great defensive minutes. Chris Paul, the Suns have this arsenal of great defensive wings that's some of the best in the entire league. And, and it's a bit weird, right? Because even though the Phoenix Suns were on a 16-game win streak, nobody really really talking about it. At least, when I say nobody, I mean like on national TV. TV. If you turn it on, everybody's talking about Warriors, Lakers, Brooklyn Nets. But the team that was just in the finals last year was on a 16-game win streak and nobody really cared. We even saw some of the biggest names in sports media saying that the window for the Suns to be a championship team had closed. C closed? After one, after one season, a lot of people... We're a bit skeptical about the Suns. And, and I can kind of understand it to an extent, right? When you think about last year, they ran into a ton of injury luck. And I'm not faulting them for that. You can only play against the, the team that's ahead of you. But they they ran into a lot of injury luck. And some people saw that and said, that, oh, last year was a fake. Where yesterday, beating the, the Warriors while they won the best teams in the league, hopefully opened up the eyes to some people to have people realize the Suns are a real contender still. They had what they had last season, brought everybody back. They, ex they extended Mikael Bridges extended Chris Paul did not extend DeAndre Aiden I, I don't know how you don't extend him after a game like last night he should get the bag this offseason but they brought the same team back another year of gelling and they are really looking like one of the best teams in the league if not the best team in the league now in today's video I want to go over some of my favorite possessions or what what led to the Phoenix Suns getting his win and why they are the real deal and since then I got the iPad and the iPad's gonna have some footage and because I'm using footage this game or this video probably will not be monetized so let me talk about my sponsor of course course prize picks hit that link in the description and download the prize pick app and use code Kenny because they're matching up to hundred dollars for all new users I just opened up the app and immediately saw this they're running a promo right now for Trey Young make it rain each entry contained and Trey Young received three dollars if he scores at least one three-pointer versus the Pacers that's a lot Trey Young has been on a hot streak so since they have that promo going on uh Trey Young is going to be in every single one of my entries for sure but it is you versus the numbers so Trey Young's been on a hot streak right now 25.5 points projected and you determine for yourself and you think he's going to get over or under that and then you put together an entry of two players to five players and you decide if you want to do a flex play or a power play Flex play means you can get one wrong and still walk out in the green, or power play means you hit the, you have to hit everything and you can walk out 10x. And of course, I've been having a ton of fun on this. Me and the homies got an entire league. But one thing I have not mentioned in these reads is that there's a whole Discord server with other people that are also playing on prize picks, and y'all can bounce ideas off so you can put together the perfect entry for yourself. So hit that link in the description, download the prize picks app, and use code Kenny because they're matching all deposits up to 100 for new players. Again, shout out to prize picks. Those are the homies over there. So let's talk about Mikael Bridges y'all there was something that was trending on twitter named mikhail jail because he was able to lock up the guy that looks like he's running away with mvp and steph curry now steph curry did have a decent amount of open looks that just didn't fall that'll probably fall on friday because these teams go against each other again later this week but mikhail bridges made it so tough for this man to do anything it, it reminded me of just like a few years ago do y'all remember when the warriors were like really bad and Steph Curry had to basically come out there and try to drop 100 every single night for them to have a chance to win, where they were throwing double and triple teams at Steph Curry every night. They're not doing that anymore, but today it felt like one of those nights because you saw Mikael Bridges and his eight arms everywhere. I love Mikael Bridges because he has the ability to guard a player like Steph Curry, but he also has the ability to switch on to bigger players on, on bigs and hold his own. There is a video by a, another YouTuber named Heat Check that he dropped like two weeks ago showcasing Mikael Bridges' defense on like... Um, uh, Chris Stapps Porzingis, and I'll put that link in the description. He has so much range as a defender. We have people even like Bobby Marks, who's a respected play person in NBA media, even though he used to, I'm not even going to talk about it. <laughs> Talk about what he did when he's a front office guy. Um, uh, Bobby Marks was campaigning for Mikael Bridges 
to be an all-star this season. And that's how good of a defensive player he is. He is a lock for the all-defensive team as long as he stay healthy. He was everywhere. So I rewatched the game this morning and I picked out some of my favorite plays from it that showcase some of the great defense from the Phoenix Suns. So I'm gonna start off in the second quarter here. The Warriors have a six point lead at the moment and it starts off when Mikael Bridges has the assignment. He had the assignment for most of the night. But Cam Johnson has the ability to switch on and hold his own. A little size up from Steph Curry, size up, not going anywhere. Let me sw switch it over and Chris Paul gets his hands in the passing lane. Now this is something that Steve Kerr and the, and the team decided to do a lot starting in the second quarter to try to get open looks for Steph Curry. A super high screen from Draymond. They do this all the time. But you see how high, let's go back. You see how high DeAndre Aiden is playing on it because he is Steph Curry, right? And he has that type of range to pull from the Y in the Valley, right? This is not how they play defense on every pick and roll played. And we'll showcase some of that early, uh, later when um, they had Andrew Wiggins in the pick and roll. This is not how high DeAndre Aiden always played. But when it was Steph Curry, they had no other choice. Now, this play is funny because I think Steph Curry did everything right. You know, he got him to jump. He just missed the layup. But it was like one of those plays where it ended up in the three for Jordan Poole. So you missed the layup to get three. But I just want to showcase how high they were really playing on him on these pick and rolls. Monty Williams basically mirrored Steph Curry minutes with Mikael Bridges. Whenever Steph Curry came back in the game, you knew Mikael was coming back. And you see, no matter what, he was not letting Steph Curry get any wiggle room. And the Warriors just turned the ball over a ton. And that, that's kind of normal for a team like this. A lot of their offense is read and react. And sometimes you misread or you misreact. So they're going to get a lot of turnovers passing the ball to some place that doesn't have a player. But it also, when it does work, it's some of the best basketball in the league. Now, this is one of my favorite two possessions of the entire game. Another high screen, DeAndre Ada completely gets the switch, and he blocks Steph Curry's uh, three. How many times in the history of Steph Curry three-pointers switching onto centers, onto actual centers, have we seen a center stand their own against Steph Curry and deflect a three-pointer from that deep? That is showcasing the versatility of DeAndre Ada. Now, he scored on the other end. This is the very, very next possession, and this is why I said this is a two-headed monster. 17-6 run for the Phoenix Suns. You got Draymond Green trying to initiate the offense, a little screen. We got the switch for DeAndre Ayton again. He gets the blow-by. This is what you expect for Steph Curry to do with DeAndre Ayton. As good of a defender he is, he can't stay in front of Steph Curry long-term, right? So you get the blow by by Steph Curry. And I just want to slow this down. So again, you see Mikael Bridges hugging, hugging Draymond. Now this right here, let me freeze it right here. When, when Steph Curry is past DeAndre Aiden, I think 99% of defenders is helping immediately. Help off Draymond Green to guard Steph Curry is an easy thing to do. But what Mikael does is he waits like one second. Let me go a little bit further. He waits one second later. Once he sees Steph Curry has completely picked up the ball, and that is when he starts to react to deflect the ball or to get the block. That is amazing timing by Mikael Bridges, and one of the reasons why bro should be on the all-defensive team. And Mikael Bridges uses his wingspan to his advantage in every opportunity he gets. This is a play where Draymond Green sees an open window, but no, because Mikael Bridges put those pterodactyl arms up and prevents them from getting the entry pass down below. We, I was gonna make a video similar to this, talking about Mikael Bridges after the, the game where he had like seven steals in the first half against the Brooklyn Nets. There's no pass that you can make around Mikael Bridges that you can throw soft because he will go out there and get it. And this is another great example of that. Later in the third quarter, they try to just do a lot, lackadaisical pass to Steph Curry, a pass that you can make 99% of the time, but the 1% is when Mikael Bridges is guarding the person he's trying to pass it to. And here's what I was talking about earlier. There's no Steph Curry on the court right now, and there's no Mikael Bridges on the court right now, but there's still great team defense. You're going to see, you're going to get Wiggins on a little pick right, right here. This is pretty much a similar action to what they were just running with Steph Curry. But you can see DeAndre Aiden is not up on that at all. He has sunk all the way down, and that just shows a different kind of coverage just between when you're guarding Steph Curry or guarding anybody else in the league. DeAndre Aiden stays put, stays two feet in the paint, and gets a great block. Him as a defensive anchor this season has been amazing. And right here, you show the versatility of Mikael Bridges again. You saw him guard Steph Curry earlier, and this is him stopping an entry pass to Nemanja Bjelica, and this is going to lead to a shot clock by violation he can guard <laughs> every position on the court it's, it's insane now this is another one of my favorite possessions from this game 10 minutes left in it the Suns are only up by one first of all just look at this frame right here this man Mikael Bridges can probably stand up straight and tie his shoes my boy look at those arms but this just shows the the amount of of communication 
the amount of, I don't know, just, just team cohesion, cohesion? I don't know the word I'm trying to, just, just watch this play. I'm not even going to pause it. I'm just going to commentate over it. So Steph Curry has the ball, little entry pass to Bielitsa. Steph Curry cuts through. Boom. You got another pass to Juan Toscano Anderson. On, I'm going to pause it. I'm sorry. On the side with Steph Curry, I want you to pay attention to this. A cut through. Chris Paul and Mikael Bridges switch right there. And Chris Paul is playing deny heavily on Steph Curry. Now watch how fast him and Cam Johnson switch this right here when he sees Steph Curry trying to come up off the screen. Boom. Just like that, now it's Cam Johnson. And now we got another switch down below, and it is a turnover. What? How fast all of that happened in the scheme of basketball is crazy. Now we got a little under five minutes left in the game. Still a one-point game. Mikael Bridges up top. You're going to see a switch where DeAndre Aiden holds its on. Look, look how great he plays defense right here. And now they're like, oh, Draymond Green got a small defender. No, you don't because Mikael Bridges does not allow a simple entry pass to go. And this is one of the last stops of the entire game that mattered. A lot of confusion here, but not for the Phoenix Suns. They get a deflection, get it to Draymond Green. Mikael Bridges switches back up on Steph Curry. And just like that, <laughs> a great defensive stop from the Phoenix Suns. Mikael Bridges leads the league right now and and amount of shots contested on the three-point line and he very rarely fouls these three-point shooters and that's some of the last footage I have. They were able to close out this game and at one point the Warriors went like two and a half minutes without scoring. Great team defense. And did not mention that Devin Booker got injured in the first half. One of the clutchest players in the entire league, if not the clutchest player of the entire league this season, was not able to play in a close game and they still had Chris Paul close it out. Yeah, Landry Shamit hit some big shots and Jay Crowder also hit some big shots and overall this just showcases that the that the Suns are still real there was nothing that happened last season as far as the way they play basketball that in my mind was unsustainable sometimes you have team going to playoff run where they're shooting a legendary from three and you know that the next season they probably won't have that same that same streak they play the same basketball every single night and that is good enough for them to win games hey man if you enjoyed our deep dive if if you want to call it that be sure to leave it a like and remember y'all enjoy basketball